I spent, uh, before joining United Airlines, I think a little bit important to talk about my history. I spent almost 20 years on Wall Street, um, really with a focus on aerospace and defense. And aerospace and defense, like it takes uh, decades to innovate. Um, I covered the airline sector as well. And it's an amazing sector that really since deregulation has just commoditized. You hear about ULCCs, Southwest really being the first and most successful, growing the business by making a basic product. It's a good product, they run a great airline, but a basic product, shrinking the seat pitch, uh, charging, uh, in, when you think about the latest innovation in ULCCs, really charging bag fees, um, and really uh, making it a bus service in the sky, uh, number one. Number two, uh, an industry that is highly, highly competitive, um, has had low margins, super capital intensive, um, really important to our uh, economy, but not something that has been great for investors and not something that's been really great for customers. Um, and so after my two decades on Wall Street, I said, well, geez, I wanna maybe do something a little bit different with my experience, and I'd like to actually go out and help companies change, uh, change the way they're doing, running the business, improve the business. I thought the airline industry was an exciting place to do that. Um, and so I joined United about five years ago. Um, and about three years ago, we started a venture capital uh, operation, a team. We launched publicly the venture capital fund a year and a half ago. And that team really is in place to do a couple of things. Uh, number one is to drive innovation into the industry um, and leading with, in, with United. And we've done that in a big way and really it started with Archer. Number two, uh, this industry, you know, we, we have to cut emissions across the entire economy, but cutting emissions in transportation and particularly, particularly in aerospace uh, is, is really, really difficult. And so we're doing, we're doing that at United Ventures. And again, uh, a real first big step with, uh, with Archer and really proud to uh, have met Adam and be, be part, of this, uh, part of this adventure. Um, and, so, uh, and so that's what we're all about. We've got a great team. Um, we've been empowered by Scott Kirby, our CEO, in a very big way. Uh, and, and you're gonna see more and more from us. In fact, we're gonna be announcing some investments that really feed the eVTOL industry. We're so passionate about this because this is gonna, this is gonna change the way we all work and live. Um, and so let me talk a little bit more about that. We're gonna talk about a journey, uh, journey in a little bit. Um, we recently announced our first route. I lived in Manhattan for 15 years. Uh, I lived in uh, Tribeca. Uh, you know, sometimes early in the morning, it might be a 20-minute trip out to Newark Airport. I was a proud United customer when I was at J.P. Morgan. Um, but, uh, you know, sometimes it could be 20, 25 minutes to get out to the airport. Sometimes it could be an hour and a half. Um, so not only is it uh, a short distance that can be a very long time, but it's unpredictable. Um, and so uh, how, do we, how do we fix that for our customer? How do we make sure our customers will be the first to be able to book a trip, not from Newark Airport to SFO, but from, uh, but from Tribeca to Menlo Park. Um, and, that, and, and, and through the booking seam, uh, through the entire channel, uh, we have seamless integration with, uh, with uh, TSA, um, and we make that trip uh, uh, special, decommoditized, uh, and predictable for our customers. And so we announced Manhattan uh, first. Uh, uh, we, you know, United Airlines, we have some of the most congested cities in the United States. You know, if you live in Atlanta, I, you know, I love some of our competitors. There, there's some good ones and some not so good ones, but, uh, but if you live in Atlanta or if you live in Detroit, you know, the traffic is not the same. Uh, Houston, maybe not the same, right? And, but if you live in San Francisco, if you live in New York, if you live in Chicago, if you live in LA, this is gonna be life-changing. Uh, life-changing for those trips to the airport. I think, frankly, it's gonna increase demand because you're gonna take trips that you wouldn't have otherwise taken. Um, and so United Airlines, we're gonna make sure that we're the first major airline to bring this to our customers. Um, and Archer's taking this pragmatic approach to get, you've heard it all today from the, from the great team, pragmatic approach to get through FAA certification, that being the big long pole in the tent to make this, to make this all work. Um, so we're launching Newark. We're gonna talk, talk about the next route we're launching in coming weeks. So uh, Adam would kill me if I shared that with you today, but um, you know, we've only got so many hubs. So, you know, but congested cities, that's where we wanna, that's where we wanna operate first and, and Newark's gonna be a great first operation. We've got the downtown heliport in New York City. Fullness of time, we need to have 10, 20, 50 uh, Verta ports within the city. The key here is that our customers are gonna be able to walk to the heliport walk to the Vertiport. They can't get in an Uber and go to the Vertiport, then have their five, seven minute trip to Newark Airport, 
and then have to take some sort of a bus outside of security to get to the terminal, and then who knows what the TSA line is. That's not gonna work. The utility of this service is gonna, is gonna rely on all of those pieces be connected together, and so we're working on that now, and you're gonna hear more from us over time. Let's talk about a little bit of a journey. So you wake up uh, you know, uh, for, for a day trip if you're in Manhattan. Um, Scott, uh, you know, he lives in, in Soho. He has a short walk out to the, uh, to the Vertiport. Um, you know, maybe initially we've got to take an Uber that's a short uh, Uber trip to the, uh, to the Vertiport. Um, but then once you get to the Vertiport, you know, we, we've got to decide whether the TSA is at the Vertiport or it's at the airport, but it'd be a specialized TSA at the airport. Um, but you get there quickly, speed through the TSA. It's going to be expedited. Has to be for all this to work. Ten minute or less trip to the airport. You're going to come inside security, so you're not going to have any TSA there. Or if you do, it'll be an expedited line, as I said. Um, and then you're inside the terminal. You'll walk. Uh, you know, we got some ideas where we're going to locate uh, lo locate the Vertiport at Newark Airport. We're not sure of that yet, um, but it'll be a short walk then. To your, uh, to your airplane. And so instead of thinking about like, okay, geez, I've got a flight leaving at 7.30, so I've got to build in an hour to the airport and I want to be at the airport for an hour. So you're like leaving two hours before your 7.30 flight at like 5.30 in the morning, you know, you can leave 45 minutes before your flight. Um, and so again, you know, and then and, and reverses on the way home. So really, really going to change the value proposition to our customers. Um, and and it'd be really special that United brings that first. Um, there's lots of questions, and I'll be happy to talk to many of you after the session about side of, kind of ind indicative route economics, but with the electrification of the aircraft, with the maintenance on these aircraft, with using electricity as the power source instead of kerosene, um, we, think that the, uh, we think that the economics, I think they start at a uh, uber black level, and we got plenty of customers in our congested major cities in the U.S. that are going to be very thrilled to pay Uber Black to get to the airport uh, and, and, and back. Uh, and so I think it starts there. But as we build on the uh, economies of scale of this industry and we start uh, increasing the frequency of the routes, increasing the vertiports, um, we will be able to bring that cost down. I think it's going to look a lot more like an UberX, uh, a lot more like a rideshare. Um, and so, uh, you know, we've talked to many of our customers. This is an uh, exciting value proposition. We had customers that have used helicopters. That worked a little bit, um, <laughs> but doesn't have the same emission profile. You can't get the same frequency, et cetera. And again, you're not walking. Um, so game, game changing from that standpoint, we, we are working now on how do we get, uh, you know, how do we get the right infrastructure on the ground? How do we get the TSA in place? <laughs> Sorry, I'm losing my voice a little bit. <laughs> um, how do we get the TSA in place? How are we going to get pilot training? How do we integrate this? We have a pilot academy, first in the industry, called Aviate. <clears throat> how do we get um, uh, this eVTOL integrated with that? Um, Adam mentioned uh, that we not only do we make the first route announcement, but we made a deposit here recently. We are also making investments in other eVTOL manufacturers and other EV tall um, components of the infrastructure. Some of those we've announced, some we have not. Who's going to operate these aircraft for us? Um, we announced this with uh, Mesa, which is one of our uh, great regional operators. Um, we have several regional operators uh, at, at United. Uh, in addition to that, I think probably for the first aircraft, we're going to want to work very closely with Archer. And so I think it's likely Archer operates those, uh, those early aircraft. Um, so, look, uh, thrill, thrilled about what we're doing here. We're changing the emission profile of the business. We are leading the industry through innovation, and we couldn't have found another, a, a better partner uh, than, than with Adam. Now, I uh, am sorry that uh, my CEO, Scott Kirby, has not made it today, but I do want to leave you with a little message from him to let you all know how important this mission is to United Airlines and all the way to the top. Hello, Archer team. Congratulations on the launch of the Midnight Aircraft. I'm sorry I can't be with you today, but I wanted to congratulate you uh, and also say we at United Airlines really appreciate the partnership. When we look for a partner, uh, we look for a company with leadership like Adam and a team that had the engineering talent, the drive, the entrepreneurial spirit to really create an entirely new industry. 
This is just one more step on your journey. We're honored to be a partner. Congratulations and thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks. 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 Thanks.